Well, you got yourself a watermelon, and now you cut it in half like this one. And what's it time to do? Well, of course, eat some watermelon, but now we're gonna make a watermelon helmet. Let's go. Well, you may be asking yourself, Tavin, how in the world am I gonna make a watermelon helmet? I'm just an average everyday person. Well, you lucked out because I am too, and I can't count how many watermelon helmets I made in my life. If it tastes good, it's a win-win, because then it tastes good, you can eat it, and you can have a watermelon helmet. But even if it don't taste no good, you can have a watermelon helmet. It curls up around the edges here because it's been sitting so long, you see, like that? And you might say, well, that ain't good, Tavin, but for a watermelon helmet, especially if you got a big old head, uh, the thinner the rind, the more room you got for your big old noggin inside that thing. So if you got a bigger head, you might want to let the rind sit a little longer than I did. There's really only a handful of tools you really need. I already cut it in half. I got a, a kitchen knife uh, It's just sharp. It's one Mima I think got from a brother-in-law used to sell knives. He had an extra one. Now you may only need it really once to slice this watermelon in half first time, boom, like that. I feel like all of us know somebody that lost a digit, either farming or cooking. So if you know somebody that did something like that, uh, you can uh, say, well, hey, we ain't gonna use no knife. We done got it cut in half, and we're just gonna use a big old kitchen spoon like this. And the other tool you're gonna need is a big old bowl, just like this, you know, just a little plastic Tupperware thing to dump it into. And then you can decide later, oh yeah, I sure do wanna eat that watermelon. But if it's like this one, boy, you ain't gonna wanna touch it with nothing. You don't even wanna feed this to a stray cat unless you're trying to get rid of the stray cat. I've been wearing watermelon helmets for years. I don't know how many, even when I was a little baby toddler, baby tiny, but I didn't even toddler, wasn't even toddling yet, just baby, you know, I have a watermelon helmet. And if you got somebody with a little tiny head, even smaller than a little baby head, maybe a preemie, like a little tiny baby, newborn head, they can have a cantaloupe helmet. There ain't nothing wrong with that. So you got options, don't worry about it. If you need a family photo and you need everybody in some sort of helmet, there, there's melons for every size. There's cantaloupes, watermelon, you can do a honeydew if you want to, but there should be produce to account for any size noggin in your household. And watermelon usually covers all of them anyhow, but if you got something that they can't find one for, cantaloupe or another one will help you out. Then I get in here with the knife and just kind of carve up the edges. Now I ain't lost a finger yet, maybe that's why I'm a little more carefree with the knife, but you gotta be careful. And people say, you know, Tabin, what in the world am I gonna do? And then sometimes you break a bowl. Mima heard that she's gonna be in here and wring my neck in a second, so I'm got some cleaning up to do. And I'm barefoot. So here I am. I'm one, I got some paper towels to dry it out. If you got an old sock or t-shirt, you can dry it out with that. And you just want to make sure it's as dry as you want it to be to put on your head. Now, you may have noticed I got some corn cobbery right here. And what these little fellas do is you can put them in the side and they can help, you know, take the helmet on and off. Now, I done let this rind get so thin, these things are gonna poke me in the side of the head if I put them on. So I, I'm gonna skip that part. Now, me personally, I don't like my watermelon helmet to come down over my eyes. I won't be able to see. I kind of like it higher on my head. So we're gonna see how well I did here with this adventure of a watermelon helmet. Oh yeah, look at that. Boy, that's perfect. Hey everybody, how you doing? Yeah, pretty good, I'm gonna mow some lawns today. Yeah, I got hit by a rock up here, but the watermelon uh, hung in there pretty good. I wanna see your watermelon helmet if you get one put together. Uh, you got everything you need to do it now, so you ain't got no excuses. Be safe, be careful, and enjoy that watermelon helmet. We'll see ya.